Okay, my skin has literally never looked worse in my entire life. In my almost 27 years of life, it has never looked worse. So please just ignore that and my general appearance. Um, I don't leave the house or see anybody anymore, so I just, I really let myself go. Um, so what I've been doing these past couple of days is making these little bags, because they're fun to make and I just think they're cute. I think of them as like little dice bags. So this one is from my friend Shelby, and I made one for my eldest sister Emily, and today I want to make one for my other two sisters. So I've already done the worst part, which is cutting them out. I literally have a pattern that I, <laughs> I didn't even, like I took a piece of paper from the printer and then just cut it out in the size that I thought it was going to be. So we're going to sew these right now, and I'm just going to show you really quickly how I do it. Unfortunately, I don't have any extra bobbins, so the bobbin on this is going to have to be white instead of orange like I want it to be. But, you know, it really be like that sometimes. So the outside fabric is going to be this sort of mushroom, and then the inside fabric is going to be, um, like the lining is going to be that orange. So we're going to do the outside first because it's easier. I cut terribly. I usually have my mom cut out my pattern pieces for me because I'm really bad at it. And I hate it, because I'm bad at it. Um, but we'll just do this. Line it up as best as I possibly can. And then you literally just go around in a big square, you know? Well, leaving the top open. And then you bring the needle down. Open the presser foot. Turn it. Bring the needle down. Oh, it is down. LOL. Get the schmutz off my needle. Um, yeah, that's fine. I probably could have brought it out a little bit more, but whatever. And then, what you have to do for the inside is you have to leave a little opening at the bottom. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, and it's so you can turn it right side out. So we'll just, we'll stick this here. Yep. Okay, needle down, turn. Now here's where we have to leave a space. So we'll go forward. Tell about there. We're gonna close that off. Cut that. And then, so that's where that ends. So we're gonna start the new one around there. Start putting some stuff on my sewing table away. Okay, now you have a nice little hole in the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to box off the bottoms. I like to use a pin for this just to make sure I get them as even as possible. Flatten this bad boy out. Actually, you know what? Should I go... Maybe I should go iron my seams open. That would make life easier if I had them pressed open. Ugh, BRB. Six and a half hours later. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rude to be interrupted by my own need to press the seams. Um, I didn't do a very good job, but you know what? It really be like that sometimes. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is open it up. Flatten out the corner. And the hardest part for me is I, is getting them even. So what I do is I stick a needle right in the seam and I try to make it come out the seam on the other side. I learned how to make these bags from another YouTube video, by the way. I'll just link that one in the description box. Provided I remember, if you're looking at this video and it's not in the description box, <laughs> leave a comment. Let me know I forgot. Ah. There we go. So then you just stick it back through. 
Now, a lot of sewing things will tell you not to sew over the needle. Do it at your own risk. Um, I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> and what we do when we get to the end is we put the needle down all the way. Again, and we rotate. And we go back over the same line. Put the needle down all the way again. And we rotate. Put the needle down all the way again. And then I like to do it a total of, like, this will be the fourth stitch, seam, whatever. Um, so that's how many times. Take the pin out, and then you're going to cut off the end. And this is how you're going to get the bag to stand up on its own. When I do the other side, I like to do my best to make sure they match. So i got to end up cutting it off about there. Turn it. And then this will be the last time. Woohoo! Take the pin out, make sure the corners match up again. Now we do the outside. So I just want to see how much I cut off on this one. There. So we're going to want to put it here. Here we go, fourth one. Okay. done so what we do now is we take what's going to be the outside <laughs> no we don't take two shots of vodka not until we're done so you take the outside and you flip it inside out why don't you just do it i don't know what you get i've never ordered from here <laughs> okay fine please hold i have to order starbucks so now what we do we move some of the shit that i have Ooh, and then i never put the pin back See, when you don't walk, you don't have to worry about stepping on things, so I don't even think about them leg people. So anyway, this is inside out. I mean right side out. And you put it inside the lining so that their right sides are together. I'm just trying to make sure the corners are pushed in together. So we're going to take off this little front piece to reveal the surprise inside. And we're going to sew all the way around the top. Okay. And then just all the way around. And then, remember that little hole we left in the bottom of the lining? We're going to pull it through. If I can find it. There we go.
Now, some people would hand sew this little hole closed. We call those people overachievers. So now we're going to get drawstringy. So I, uh, on the video that I watched that I'm going to link in the description, basically what she did was she just did like a stitch line here and line here and then unpicked the seam in the middle. That's a lot of work. So all I do is I make a, a little casing out of the same fabric and I just sew it on. So I already kind of finished the edges and ironed it so that it would, um, the edges would stay, the edges, the, hello, <laughs> English. The edges that I want to stay folded underneath will stay folded underneath. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to pin it along the middle. Like this. So now that we have the casing pinned on, we're just going to put it back over here. Woohoo! We're going to sew one, one side down and then the other side. Here we go. Now just time to do the same thing, but on the other side. So the last step for this, now that we have the casings on, is to put ribbon in it. So I like to actually hold ribbon in my hand to cut it. Make sounds a little longer than I made everyone else's. So we're gonna cut it there and you're gonna need two pieces of ribbon so what I do so I actually use these <laughs> my cricket tongs I clean them off disinfected them don't worry um and I slide it through and then stick the ribbon in between the tongs so what you're gonna want to do is you pull it through and then you have to send it through the other side okay now I won't lie to you that was difficult and to make it matter even harder we have to go back through again so that we have sort of this edge on both sides that's how drawstrings work. Okay. Got it through. Lost my index fingernail in the process. So now what you do is you tie off both ends. I'm sure there's a nicer way to tie this. And there you have it. A nice little drawstring bag. Cute, right? Perfect for a little dice or something. Hello. Uh, welcome to Monday. I had originally planned to shoot a video today and I was going to do my hair and do my makeup and be like really, really cute. And I don't know, I don't know, like, I just didn't have a very good sleep last night. So I just, you know, usually when I'm not in the mood to shoot a video, I just push through it and I do it anyway. But today I decided for the first time ever, I would allow myself to be lazy and push it to tomorrow. And I really hate that because I, I'm not doing anything these days. So it feels like, wow, I couldn't make myself do something for one day, you know. But just this once, um, I will allow myself to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'll get up. I'll get up earlier than I did today. I didn't get out of bed until like 11, 11.30 today. And I'll uh, curl my hair, do my makeup, that sort of thing. And then I will shoot the video I wanted to shoot today. Um, and honestly, that was the only video I had planned to shoot this week anyway. So it's not like it's a huge deal. Uh, but I did get a Shein order in the mail. And an Etsy order. So I thought I would just kind of show you what I got. The first thing for my Shein order is actually something I'm a little bit, a little bit sad about. So they had this sort of, these sticky note type sets. Ugh, and it was random, so you got one of three designs randomly, and she's very cute. I really like her and this bear and the apple, but one of them was a witchy set, and it was her and the bear, and she was wearing, like, a little witch hat, and she was riding on a broom, and it was so cute. 
so cute. So I, I can't lie to you, like I'm a little butthurt that I, I got this one. So <laughs> see it is right now free shipping, so I did order another one, hoping I get the witch one. So I'm not opening this because I'm probably just gonna give it away or donate it or something. I just thought about opening it right now, but I, I'm not gonna do that because I just ordered another one. Um, and out of the three designs, there's really only one that I don't like. This one is one of the ones that I did like. So if I get the little birthday set, I'm going to be really mad because I just want the witch. Um, so I got this. So let's get the noisiest bag out of the way. This is just a purse strap. It's just black with little gold um, clasps on the end. Um, Alyssa bought me a purse for Christmas, and it's one of Sally's potion bottles from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I love it, but I have a weird thing with... I have a weird thing with chains. I hate chains. I hate... That's why I don't wear jewelry. I don't like chains. I don't like... I don't know. Like, I just... I don't like things on me. And I think that's why I don't like jewelry, really. Like, I have some earrings. I have my ears pierced. I had my nose pierced. I own some rings, but I'm just generally not, like, a fan of that sort of thing. So I'm gonna take the strap that came with it off, because it is a chain, and I just... I don't know what it is. It's a weird, like... I don't want to say phobia, but, like, phobia of mine. I don't like them, so I'm gonna take it off, put that strap on instead, and then I can use that as a purse. So I got that. I got a new hair dye bowl and a little whisk, uh, because my old hair dye bowl, I... <laughs> when I was doing my plaster face cast, I filled it with plaster, not thinking that it would stick, and I wouldn't be able to get it out. So now I finally have a new hair dye bowl. Um, I bought two little, um, silicone, like, lip applicators, because I can't find a little one for my Laneige sleep, uh, lip sleeping mask. Um, so now I have this, so I, I can do that with that. Um, and then I also got, I just thought this paper was really pretty, like, look at it black with all these like gold leaves and, and birds and stuff. It kind of gives me a little bit of like a witchy vibe. And then the envelopes have like the moon on the back and that sort of thing. Because with stickers that say especially for you, but I'll probably never use those. Another example of me being a dumbass, I thought this said like it was random, like you got one of four notebooks, but it actually says you get all four notebooks. So I got four notebooks, but they're really freaking cute. I'll open them last week. Why wouldn't I just open them? Okay, so the first notebook has the little girl standing in like... I don't even know. They sort of look like leaves on stairs. And then this one is fish. And then this one is like a cherry blossom tree. And then the last one is the one that I actually wanted, but so I, I guess I got three extra for it. Um, it's jellyfish. I just thought it was cute. She gives me sort of Ghibli vibes. I don't know why, but I just like that. So I got these four notebooks, um, because I thought I was only gonna get one. And then the last thing I bought is the only clothing item I bought. I know I hardly ever buy clothes from Shein. I usually just buy things. And these are high-waisted velvet black leggings. I could definitely tell, tell that they're high-waisted. Um, they're really stretchy. Sorry, the dogs are barking at nothing, so just ignore them. Um, and they are cropped, which means they might be full length on me, I'm really hoping. Because I don't know what it is, but I've always just loved velvet. And obviously it's like the cheapest velvet. And it smells like it came from China. But, I don't know, I just like them. And then we'll go through my Etsy order. So my Etsy order is from Emin Sprout. If you know sort of like Etsy design things, you might know Emin Sprout. I have a bunch of dresses from her actually already. And um, she does a lot of like really cute sort of Halloween-y uh, themed uh, clothes and socks and air fresheners, everything. Her art is my favorite. So I have three of her dresses. She doesn't really make those dresses anymore, but I have three of them and I wear them all the time. And every time I wear them, someone either asks me where I got it from or someone comments on the post and says, Is this an Emmett's Brown dress? I'm really bummed because she makes these really cute sort of um, jack o' lantern slippers. Uh, and they're like slip ons. And I really want them, but I obviously have child size feet. And she makes them for adults. Um, so I can't, I can't really wear them. Why did I just put that down? And anyway, a while ago, like a while ago at this point, she launched, um, she started launching pajamas. And she did this, like, witchy pattern, too. I really wanted the witchy pajamas, like, really bad. Every time she would put put them up, they would sell out. Or I couldn't rationalize the price at the time. When I ordered these, I still had a job. So, <laughs> I probably couldn't rationalize the price now. But I did buy them. Um, and I have no no regrets. Uh, I'm not going to wear them as pajamas. Uh, that, that's not true. I might wear the shorts as pajama shorts. Because, I don't know, I can't really wear shorts like that in real life. I feel weird about it. But the shirt is definitely going to be a like a real shirt for me. So I also bought a little face mask in the witchy design. Look at that, so cute. Not like I need any more face masks. Look at this! Now I think I bought a medium. So I'm hoping the bottoms aren't too big. Oh, 
Those will be fine for my big old butt. And they'll come down nice and long so I won't accidentally moon anybody. But, like, look at them. So those, they smell like sugar. And then this is the shirt. Now, like I said, the shirt will be worn as just like a regular shirt. So I'm actually looking forward to, you know, it actually kind of worked out for the best that these came today and I didn't shoot the video because I can wear this because the video I'm going to shoot is the candle making video. So maybe I'll, I'll wear this shirt in the candle making video with my new high-waisted leggings, you know? Um, anyway, this will be great. I like that the neck is so high so my boobs are not going to hang out. It's a little bit cropped, but on me it'll be full length, which is great. I just love it. I love em Emmons Bro. Lindsay, she's so great. Everything she makes is so beautiful, and I just have absolutely massive respect for anyone who's like... It's this sort of... this cutesy, witchy design. I'm just obsessed with it. She's so talented. I love her. So if you ever want to get, like, some sort of cute, witchy, or cutesy Halloween stuff, definitely check Emmons Bro out on, um... Etsy shipping to Canada from her is a little bit expensive, but I consider it worth it because she's fa fantastic. All right, vlog. Apparently, I can't zoom you out any farther than that. I'll just take the witch hat off. I've been trying for like half an hour to get a cute Instagram picture with the witch hat and the broom <laughs> and the bookcase background, and it's just it's harder than you would think. Um, my hair used to be so voluminous, but then I wore the witch hat for so long that it's completely flattened it. I did shoot two YouTube videos today. So I feel like I've at least accomplished something, unlike yesterday. And I'm wearing a full face of makeup, so we're good. And I'm watching my friend Leslie, if you don't know her, her, and her social handles, I guess, are all Aqua Jam Art. Um, right now she's doing a live stream where she's drawing Lena. <laughs> Look at this. Can I, can I get it to focus? You can sort of see. She's such a fantastic artist, and she's drawing Lena right now, so I'm excited about it. So I'm just watching this. I have to clean up all of my woo, vlogging stuff right now. My vlogging stuff, all of my fancy YouTube stuff. I have an extra table, I have the mic, I have everything. But I'm going to watch Leslie at the same time. And I really need, like, I really just... Oh no, did I have lipstick smudge that whole time? No, I think it's okay. But I really overdrew my lips too far today, but that's okay. I'm not wearing eyeliner, because I reviewed an eyeshadow palette, so I need to balance it all out. I feel bad because I've like hardly vlogged this week, but I really haven't done anything. I made a couple more face masks. I finally made one for my stepdad. I went to Walmart. Uh, I don't even remember what day that was, Wednesday maybe? But like, all I bought was snacks and cat food. Like, I was thinking about vlogging it, but I had nothing to show you. And then on my way home from Walmart, my chair was like dying. Like that's how I can tell this chair is getting old at this point. And it's really on its last leg. Cause I used to be able to go to Walmart and there's like a whole bunch of other stores in that plaza. I used to be able to go to Walmart, a whole bunch of other stores in that plaza, work, and then the mall and like Sephora and all that stuff that's in the mall and then come home. Whereas the other day, all I did was go to Walmart, which is in the same uh, plaza as Pet Value and Starbucks and then come home and like, I didn't, like, I wasn't certain my chair was going to make it home uh, from the bus stop, so that's great. And then on the way home, I went to put my mask in my pocket, like, of my jacket, because I didn't need it anymore, because I was outside. I was on my way home, and it blew away because my chair was dying. I couldn't go after it, so I had to make a new one. It was the, uh, the little cheetah print one, so I made a new one. I get a little bit better at making them every time I make them, so I'm actually not that upset that I had to make a new one, but it was so cute. So this one is done now. All it needs is new elastic. And then I'm going to make probably my friend Alyssa a little bag. Maybe I'll make me a little bag. I don't know. But I bought this like really cute. Why don't I just show you? It's over here. Fabric with like succulents on it. See, it's cute. I like it. Um, so I'm going to make a probably another one of those little bags. Maybe like dust, dust bag. Dice bag size. Maybe a little bigger. I'm not totally sure. I haven't really decided, but I think it's cute. So we're gonna do that. Maybe I'll make a mask too. Uh, what else? Oh, I planted a couple of little pet grass seeds in Roger's terrarium just to see if, if they would grow. And there was nothing, nothing, nothing. And then this morning, a couple just shut up. So I kind of want to show you. <laughs> there's like a couple of blades of grass. Like there's, the, there's those two, there's that one, there's one there, there's one there. There's a couple in the back. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make you see them because they're really, really back there. Oh yeah, you can see them. There's a couple back there because I really just sprinkled a couple of seeds just to see if they would grow. And they did, but now it looks really silly. Um, so I either have to, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'll probably just leave them there because they'll die eventually. I don't even know where Roger is. 
He's in here somewhere. Oh, he's in the... You can see his back a little bit right there. He's just in the back. And then earlier today, for the first time in a couple of weeks, actually, I've been really, really slacking. I added some food and some water to the isopods. The um, Armadillidium clivy isopods, the, the clown isopods, I think is what people call them. Uh, I thought maybe, like, when I took the container out, I thought maybe they had all died because I couldn't see any. But then I picked up a piece of cork bark, and a lot of the babies have grown much, much bigger than I expected. So, <laughs> there are a lot of very big isopods in there that I don't even have anywhere to put, so that's great. Let's check on my plants while I have you out. Um, the humidifier is not on right now because the little USB power bank is charging. My stepdad and I took, I don't know if I said this on camera yet, but we took all the little propagations out of the prop box and planted them separately. So I have more cuttings in there right now. I added some more rosemary seeds to this to see if I could get some to actually grow, and there are a solid three sprouts right now. So we'll see. I've, I've I've started to like lose my gusto with that. It is what it is at this point, you know. And then, so I've had this angel wing begonia in this pot of water for has it been two weeks or three weeks, and I kind of forgot about it. But I picked it up yesterday. Look at this. <laughs> Do you see this? I think it's about ready for a pot. Don't you think so? Oh, and there's a new leaf. But yeah, so that one's doing really well. I really need to water my uh, Begonia Maculata and the little Peperomia beside it, but my water hasn't been sitting out for 24 hours yet, so I'll wait until afternoon to do that. But for the most part, everything else has been watered recently, so we're good. Even my Hoya I watered yesterday. I don't know, man. I'm doing better with plants these days. I even watered this Wandering Dew yesterday, and I was very excited about it because I kind of just sat it in a thing of water, and it absorbed all the water through the bottom, and it happened really fast, and it absorbed so much, and I was like, yay, you're happy with me. So, so far, I'm still struggling with growing seeds, but everything else seems to be okay. Even if this Raphidophora tetrasperma, however you say it, has been in water for like a month, maybe two months at this point, and not a single root has come out. Okay, great. So even though I spent a lot of this weekend cleaning and reorganizing my room, it's this vlog is already kind of long, and I have a lot more footage. Uh, so I'm going to end this week's vlog here and make you wait until next week to see some of my decluttering and what I've done with my hoarder situation. Okay, um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and you come back next week for the next vlog. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!